Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy here with the Game Vault. And today we're going to look at how to make a hot tub. Because, you know, sometimes you're out there, you're running around space, and you get a little sweaty flying around in that ship and wearing this outfit all day long. And you just want to kind of chill out and relax and let those muscles loosen up. So... What better way to do that than on a nice, beautiful paradise planet like this, high squid ship, in a hot tub. It's right up here. So here's our little hot tub. Look at that, with the nice blue water in it and everything. It's just absolutely lovely, isn't it? You can even sit down in here and take a load off. Ah, that feels good. All right, enough goofiness. So yeah, this is something, this is the beginning of what's going to be a multi-level resort that has something above ground and something below ground. So not only do we have a nice little uh, hot tub here with some cool plants near it, you know, a lot of lighting to make it look cool uh, around the hot tub and inside of it. It's got a nice pump house here. Oh, let's take a look inside and see here's where the water is and pumped out and all that it comes here from this big reservoir and it's heated up with this cool uh, furnace right ignore these these are just temporary things there to keep the lights on as well as the uh, other thing over there the uh, one that hides the cords because I can't stand the electrical cords so anyway how do we do this it is a very very easy thing to build and um, first thing you're gonna need to do is we're gonna go into and you can use whatever you want here I used stone for mine and we're gonna select the small stone triangles and we're gonna build ourselves there we go now we're just gonna go around it and we're gonna make this two levels out okay now I changed the colors on all the stuff I used to build oops to build over there to uh, variations of blue and green and stuff like that teal because I wanted that kind of a look I wanted that kind of uh, beachy look you know I am in Florida and we see that all the time here especially on the coast All right, we got it. That's two rows out, right? So next thing we need is right in here, and we need a moon pool floor. And that puppy is going to be placed in the exact center here. And it's really easy to line up, obviously. Once we get it lined up like that, we hit the triangle button. That goes into toggle wiring mode, and then we hit triangle and R2 at the same exact moment. And boom. Now I got a hot tub, but we can't see it. So we're going to go ahead and delete. Did I delete the wrong thing? Nope. Okay. I'm sorry. We're going to go ahead and delete these inner pieces. All right. And that opens it up a little bit. And then we're going to have to hop out real quick and just... Uh, get our terrain manipulator here we're gonna clear out a little bit of space here you don't have to go too deep but you just want it down enough so that you can fit in one of these nice little short stone walls or whatever kind of wall you want to use now these things we're gonna put down inside and underneath It take a moment sometimes to get lined up and go back into the build camera. There we go. Do I have all of them? I want to leave one out. Yeah, I left one out. Okay. That one we left out, we're going to put this short set of stairs on there. And again, this can be a little tedious to line up correctly. Uh, you know what? I think... 
should put those in first. So let's get rid of these two walls. There we go. And now we can put the walls back in. Perfect. Those tiles we picked up earlier, those small stone triangles. Let's get ourselves up a little bit so we can look down on it. And we're gonna go ahead and place those inside so they snap to the bottom of those little half walls, those little, or partial walls. Come on, you can get in there. Get in there. In there you have the very, very basics of building a hot tub. Now what I did with this one over here, I'm come take a look real quick. So I have those initial two rows and then I built out with uh, these little two by two tiles and then filled them in with the small or the small triangles just to get the whole thing a little bit larger I wanted it to look like a pump house so you know I built this little house off of here and what I did with this basically and we'll uh, reconstruct it a little bit over here just to show you uh, the basics of the pump house uh, get the stone floor panel so I got the stone wall with the circle window I did three of those. And I put a door up front, but I'm not going to put the door on this time because it was a monster getting the uh, pump inside of it. So where is that puppy? Is that in here? Or is it in here? It's in here. So yeah, I got this industrial pump, right? You see how small it is. But it'll be a lot easier to put it in, in this way. And I just increased the size. And then stuck it right in the middle there. Ooh, come on. As you can see, it sticks out this side. It looks like it's part of the building, no problem. This side as well, part of the building, no problem. And you can go on and finish up the room however you want. You can put the door on it like I did. You don't even need to put a door on it. You're not gonna need to go in there. I did stick a red light inside of it uh, just because I wanted it to look uh, you don't really see it much. You can kind of see the outline on the door here. Let me turn this off. Yeah, but if you do open up the door, you see it's kind of glowing red in there, so it gives the uh, illusion that everything's warm, you know? So you can do that. You can slap whatever roof you want on this thing, however you want it to go. And then the uh, water coming out of it, these bubble ducts, you know, it's just a matter of lining them up how you want to. And you can do whatever you want with this, have whatever fun you want. I mean, I could have, had I placed this differently, you know, if I had put this uh, a little closer to the edge here, like maybe I built the pump house off of here and stuck it here, I could have run those down into the actual water below. I made it look like it was pumping water out of the ocean and doing a natural, um, you know, using the, the ocean water naturally. Could e even use this uh, this thing here and run it from that into that and then into there. I mean, this, uh, I'm not really that keen on this furnace. It's not that big of a deal. It, in fact, I'm, I'm probably gonna get rid of it. But um, this I really like. I think this came out nice. I think it's a solid look. 
And I put, I think this is called a water reservoir or something. I'll show you some of the other items we used. Uh, let's see. So, what we got here? Here's the pump. There's the small furnace we stuck to the big water reservoir in the back. This is the sealed reservoir that's right next to the pump house. And these are all under decoration right here. Uh, is that it for here? I think so. I was looking for piles of wood, couldn't find them. There's the bubble vat, which I, you know, it doesn't come out very large normally, so I greatly increased the size. You'll recognize it from being on my other character on the uh, frigate base build. But, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do, you know. Then I went in, I stuck some of these glowing flower pots, put some cool looking semi-tropical foliage in there. I got some of these underwater type plants that you can uh, get using out of the Quicksilver shop. I think these things came out of the Quicksilver shop as well. Uh, these rolled, these are rolled canvas, but I figured they look kind of like towels, right? So I stuck them there. Put a couple properly uh, colored couches here to, you know, give you a spot to chill out and relax. You got a little flask there with some uh, space margarita in it and glasses. Here's her cups. Here's some more. And, you know, I'm not quite done decorating this. I will do some more to it to make it a little cooler, maybe a little more foliage. Um, I, I know I need to get a couple palm trees out of the Quicksilver shop. I've yet to acquire them yet, but when I do, we'll decorate a little bit further around here. And I plan on making this kind of like a resort, like I said. So then I just drop some steps down. And yeah, this is kind of neat, right? I'm swimming above the water. Um, not really what I intended, but I can live with it. But I wanted a place to land a ship. I thought that was kind of a cool location. This ship looks particularly awesome here, especially right on the water because of its squid nature. And from here, we're going to build down into this ocean. This is a pretty large ocean, and there's a lot of cool stuff in here, including some cool looking uh, fish, and I saw some eel-like creatures before. We've got um, armored clams, and look at that, dihydrogen, chlorine, you know, lots of Lots of stuff to explore around here, and I don't have an ocean base, an underwater base yet, so I definitely want to get one of those set up just for when I need, like, cytophosphate, for instance, or something like that, and it'll give me a cool place to launch my little, uh, modeling from, so. That's that. So, it's really a pretty simple build overall, and using the wire glitch allows you to place this in a way that it's not intended to be placed to create that look. Um, really the steps aren't necessary. I could probably do without them because it's such a, a shallow pool. But I do like the look of it. I'm, I, and Unless I figure out something I can do instead of those to make it look cool still. I mean, as you can see the water's like right up there to my nose. <laughs> but I'm a shark so it's cool. So if you think of something that would look better than these little steps here, that would be great. Let me know in the comments below and I'll change things out and uh, we'll try something new. All right. So thanks for joining me again. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault here. And if you found this video useful at all, please give it a like down below. A nice thumbs up is a great help for me. I appreciate each and every one of them. Uh, comment down below. Let me know if this is something that you're interested in building at your base and adding to your base. A nice little uh, hot tub for some R&R. Don't forget to share us on social media, and if you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. I do upload videos daily, so you can always stay on top of what's going on here. I thank you, and I'll see you next time.